This is Twit. Microsoft felt the need to clarify what had become the widespread misapprehension that they would be training their AI models against the private and personal data of their Office product users. And of course, we looked at that speculation behind that last week. So the day after we did so, last Wednesday, Bleeping Computer did a great job of summing up the situation. So I'm just going to quote, uh, I've, I've edited what they said, but you'll get the gist. They, they wrote, Microsoft has denied claims that it uses Microsoft 365 apps, including Word, Excel, and PowerPoint, to collect data to train the company's artificial intelligence AI models. This comes after a Tumblr blog post spread on social media, claiming that Redmond used their connected experiences feature to scrape customers' Word and Excel data for AI training. And by the way, Paul was correct on Windows Weekly the day after our last podcast saying that nowhere did it did any of Microsoft's own documentation ever say that it didn't use the word AI training. So that was a presumption. A Microsoft spokesperson told Bleeping Computer, quote, Microsoft does not use customer data from Microsoft 365 consumer and commercial applications. Now, I should just mention, I wish they ha- that the person hadn't put that caveat in. They should have just said, Microsoft does not use customer data from Microsoft 365 applications. Why say consumer and commercial applications? You know, it's like a little, are they hedging? I don't know. Anyway, to train large language models. Additionally, the connected services setting has no connection to how Microsoft trains large language models. Okay, so that's good. So the company also told Bleeping Computer that this optional setting has been on by default since it was first made available in April of 2019. So five years ago, always been on. Bleeping Computer was also told, quote, The connected experiences feature enables features like co-authoring, real-time grammar suggestions, and web-based resources. And Leo, this is precisely what the, the assumption you were making also last week. They said these features are on by default because they're features people naturally expect in a cloud-connected productivity tool. However, Customers always have control, they wrote, and can adjust their connected experiences settings at any time, unquote. So as Microsoft explains on its support website, the feature is used to first provide design recommendations, editing suggestions, or data insights based on the office content through features like PowerPoint, Designer, or Translator. And... It also downloads online content templates, images, 3D models, videos, and reference materials, including but not limited to Office templates or PowerPoint Quick Starter. To toggle this feature off, Microsoft 365 users have to open their Office apps like Word or Excel and choose whether to enable or disable experiences that download download online content or analyze their content under connected experiences after going to the file account account privacy manage settings menu <clears throat> so as we said last week so quoting them the connected experiences setting enables cloud backed features designed to increase your productivity in the Microsoft 365 apps like suggesting relevant information and images from the web real-time co-authoring and cloud storage, and tools like Editor in Word that provide spelling and grammar suggestions. Microsoft has been using their AI in Microsoft 365 for years. Now, maybe that's where some of this confusion comes in because they're calling spell check AI. So they, this is them saying Microsoft has been using AI in Microsoft 365 for years to enhance productivity and creativity through features like Designer in PowerPoint, which helps create visually compelling slides, and Editor in Word, which provides grammar and writing suggestions. You know, that's not today's definition of AI. And they, and, but they then, then said these features do not rely on generative AI or large language models, 
but rather use simpler machine learning algorithms, unquote. So Bleeping Computer says uh, at, at the end, Microsoft added that the setting has been available since April 2019 with enterprise admins having the option to choose if connected experiences are available to users within their organizations using multiple policy settings designed to manage privacy controls for Microsoft 365 apps and Office for Mac, iOS, and Android devices. So, okay, I'm we're certainly all of us, I'm sure, glad for the clarification. Whatever Microsoft is doing exactly, and unless anything has re changed recently, it's been doing whatever it is for the past five years. It's always been on by default, you know, like grammar and spelling suggestions. And anyone who isn't comfortable with this is free to turn it off if they wish. If nothing else, it seems very clear that this has nothing whatsoever to do with Copilot Plus and any of the recent concerns over Microsoft's AI being used to otherwise enhance their users' experiences. Um, you know, and it's one thing to be mistrustful and another thing to accuse them wrongly. We can certainly have one without the other. Given what I've witnessed firsthand of what they've done to Windows Start Menu, Tray, and Edge, you know, none of which enhances my own use of Windows. I'm obviously not a big fan of the direction they're taking their consumer desktop. Nevertheless, make no mistake, I love Windows. So I got some feedback from people saying, wow, you know, if you're so unhappy with Microsoft and Windows, why are you still using it? I love it. You know, I mean, for my purposes, it's far better than any alternative. Um, and I'm hopeful that when I set up my next Windows desktop, my Microsoft developer access to the enterprise edition of Windows 10 will provide me with the cleaner experience that I look for in what I consider to be a tool rather than a toy. I, you know, I just don't have any interest in Windows being a toy with, you know, offering me Candy Crush Soda Saga and Xbox features on my start menu in addition to everything else they've done. So anyway, um, you know, Microsoft is obviously very sensitive to all of this after the pushback and concern that the industry showed at, of, with, with their stumbling rollout of what they plan to do with, with recall in Copilot Plus. So, you know, they're going to great pains to, to calm people. And there's every reason to believe this is just grammar and spelling checking. It, it is worth noting that in Bleeping Computers coverage, they, they don't talk about the fact that Microsoft does say whatever it is they're doing with connected experiences, there are those which where they're collecting data over the lifetime of the user's account. So, so maybe that's just they're learning what spelling mistakes people always make or what the, you know, what they're like learning the grammar of the user and getting better at helping them to correct themselves. You know, that's what I presume. But so, but we did learn last week that from their own statements that there is something that, that continues to exist at their end in the cloud on a per user account basis, presumably helping it to do a better job with those things that it's been doing for the last five years. And unfortunately they call that AI, which, you know, nobody else bothers to. Hey, it's Leo Laporte. I hope you've enjoyed this little snippet from Security Now. If you want the whole show, you can get it at our website, twit.tv slash SN. Of course, you can subscribe to Security Now on your favorite podcast, or just click one of the links below. Security Now.